what's up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this happy birthday poster or instagram post or whatever you wanna call it but this is what we are going to create in this very video this effect has a lot of variations to it you can use different colors you can use different fonts you can have a lot of varieties of the same effect and create something really good out of it i'm going to tell you and explain you everything in this video so be sure you watch this video till the end and you end up liking this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more design related videos like this on the mobile app and uh, without wasting any more time let's get started Okay, so we are on the pixel app, app on the default screen as you can see i've deleted the text and i'm gonna go select the size of the design that we want to have so i'm gonna be selecting the 1080 by 1350 which is the standard instagram size that you can upload your designs into so this is the this is the ratio that i'm gonna be used but also you can pick up anything that you want to have like you can use square design as well so right now i'm gonna go select and add a text right here and I'm going to add the basic text effect just like this. So I'm going to ha type happy birthday right here. And you can type like maybe happy new year or anything related to that. You can also use some quotes maybe. So yeah, that's this is what I'm typing right now. This is how it looks like. And I'm going to go into fonts. So this is the font right here. And I'm going to go into the default fonts from the pixel app where you will find this one. So this is the font that I'm going to be using in this uh design but you can always check out other fonts as well if you want to now i'm gonna go select this b icon and from here i can select the italic version so i can italic the font if i want to and this is how you can do with this style b logo over here icon over here once you do that place it nicely over here on the top copy it once again to copy the same effects on the text and type your next uh text that you want to have so this will be like birth day so I'm going to type birth over here and the day will be in the bottom. So this is how it looks like. I will be typing it in the caps and be sure you leave a little bit of space both from the front and from the end so that it won't cut out and copy it once again. I'm going to type day over here. So it will be happy birthday. So yeah, this is happy birthday right here and caps and keep it right over here. So this is a very basic typography that you can type and looks really good with this font so yeah this like kind of a good combination with this typography and i really like it now once you're happy that how your text looks like make changes right now that you want to have with your text so once you're happy like everything done then you can go and do this setting or you can try your own ways but i'm gonna go select the background color to perfect black once that is done and i'm gonna save this click on this icon and save this to ultra hd or high quality so yeah this is i'm gonna select high and i'm gonna save it once you save that one you will be able to like see this in your gallery so yeah that is what you can do and uh, your your aspect ratio will be similar your design ratio that you have selected 1080 by 1350 is similar now i'm gonna select and de delete all the text and i'm gonna go back to white background text right here so i'm again back to white background once that is done, I'm going to go select the plus icon and from here I'm going to import the design that I've just exported the typography and get it right over here. Once that select the diamond button from here and select this option right here and make sure they are on 100% so it will fill out the whole screen. Once that is done, make sure you lock this on the spot on the place and this is how it will look like in your layers. Once you're happy that you will get to select this icon right here this one which will delete the white color out of the design that you have up the layer and use the tolerance to all the way to the 55 percent so yeah there is no white color on the black part so yeah as if you change the color background like this is i'm changing the background color and it is changing the text because it is transparent right now yeah so once once that is done i'm gonna go and get a png right or picture like this if you want a particular size P, uh, PNG into the background, you can select that and uh, search on the Google. You will get that for free. So yeah, this is just the basic comic uh, image that you can use. And I'm going to move it back to 
background once that is done this is how it's going to look like you can always use uh, different types of comic books as i said earlier but i'm gonna place it right over here like this once you're happy with uh, what the shades are coming out from the text or like how it looks like like all together you can always change and make uh, make changes to your design if you want to with your background so yeah i'm just gonna be happy i'm gonna be happy with this effect that how it looks like and i'm gonna select the top more layer topmost layer and use the color or change the color gradient to something like this so this is the normal black and white gradient that we have so i'm gonna select to have this kind of grayish so i'm gonna get one part is total white and the second point is going to be a little grayish and for this point this white point will be up on the corner so that it will look like the light is falling out and uh, yeah the topmost part will be the lit up part and the top bottommost most part will be the grayish darkish part so yeah if you get this idea once you once you're done with that i'm just going to go and add a layer solid white layer i'm going to fulfill the area where the text is i'm going to select the color that we want to have for our text so that this is the text that this is the color that i'm going to be having and once you are happy with that just click ok and go on to your layers or you can always go on to the opacity form this is the opacity and decrease it a little bit we can always toggle this opacity again and again so yeah be sure you do that again if you want to and i'm going to click keep it right in the middle so this will be on top of the design but is not going to be top on top of the text so yeah this is how it looks like all together i i know it it is not the perfect right now but we will make other changes too so make it to make it a little bit better as well for now i think the colors aren't that good with the uh, with the background text so that i'm changing right now as you can see and this is where you can change colors and you can use different colors or gradients if you want to with this similar text effect so yeah i hope you will get this idea and i hope you are knowing that what you will have to toggle to get the best results out of this design now i'm happy with the the color that i'm now changing the adjustments of the image that we have the comic image the black and white image so if you toggle that one the brightness and the contrast you can make similar changes like this so i have selected this layer right here and now i'm selecting this one selecting this effect which is shadows and adding the shadows inside of the text so this is how it looks like no this not this one actually i'm going to use this one and i'm going to select okay to this and i guess you can see this effect makes a lot of difference i'm just going to use this uh, slider right here to uh, dim it down a little bit also you can play around with the radius blur as well once you're happy with that this is how it looks like you can always toggle you know different variations of the effect if you want to now i'm going to go add the image and this is the png image that i got this is also obviously a free image but you can use your friend's image if it's it's your friend's birthday and it will be a great choice as well so once you're like happy how it looks like you can place the image which is not covering the text a lot and you can still read the text even with with being the text uh, layer in front of the image layer you you get that point right so yeah uh, make sure you are placing the main subject layer or picture in this nicely way that it makes a lot big difference yeah and it won't cover the text as well and uh, maybe uh, lock your layers so it won't you won't move them around accidentally so i'm just uh, right now what i did is i zoom it a little bit i i increases the size of the text layer so that it is a little bit bigger and looks good so that's what i did right now and i'm placing the picture right on top of the text so this is how it looks like looks like right now also i'm going to add a shadow on to this text layer which will fall down back on the white layer on the text layer and it will create this effect that the picture is actually in front of the text layer and it is not very far so yeah you can do that clicking on this uh, offsets like x offset and y offset and this is how it looks like maybe you can make sure it is looking good in and it is in the middle correctly and yeah you can use any image if you want you can actually type in the colors like toggle the colors with the colors that are wearing your your images wearing like your 
subject is varying and you can make a good color combination as well so yeah i hope you'll love this part and yeah i'm just going to add some basic uh, things over here i'm going to add the name of the person whose birthday it is so this is let's say rahul and this is the text that we've got i'm going to go into fonts select the similar font which is this one and uh, yeah i'm gonna go select the b style italic and this will be in italic right now i'm just going to keep it right over here in this manner a little bit tilted and yes it looks all good now let's add the colors that we want to have so this will be the color that we i'm going to add yeah this is how it looks like i'm added, added the shadows now i'm going to add the colors uh, it looks a little bit off with the color right now, but let's see if we can add stroke to it. I'm just going to add a little bit of stroke. It is, should be in the white. Yeah, it makes now it is looking really good with the stroke happening on the text and it looks good. So yeah, I'm going to add more colors and I'm going to change uh, a little bit of color things. Let's say I'm going to add this gradient right here that we had earlier. Yeah, it looks good. So yeah, I'm going to go and switch the this setting right here so it looks good with the background and i'm gonna go along again change the colors a little bit like this color is a little bit darker in the shade i'm gonna go make it more lighter that's what we did and it looks much better right now okay so this is the uh, i think this is the layer that this is the color palette that we are going to go with so i'm gonna go change the back background text color as well from this to this and yeah this is how it looks like a lot better so it's totally up to you that how you want to use the colors and uh, if you have a more time you can use this color picture or edit this color picture into some other app like maybe lightroom so you don't have to like get those colors and ideas right over here so if you have a comic uh, book color palette or image you can color it out in some other application and get it over here because we don't have dedicated you know effects like blend effects so yeah this is how it looks like and it looks a lot better with this color palette right here which is like red and blue and uh, yeah i'm just going to add some basic elements over here right now i've added the solid rectangular layer i'm going to fill it with the whole screen so it looks like that then i'm going to go into gradients i'm going to select the basic white and black gradient right here i'm going to select this right here and switch the colors from their position so the white is in middle in the middle then i'm going to select the white color and click on this color icon switch this to the transparent side so the white color will be transparent and this is how it looks like so this is the vignette effect that you can create it's inside pixel lab if you are a regular watcher or regular viewer from my channel you know that how you can create a vignette effect inside pixel lab app so yeah i hope you will know that how did i do it sorry for the noise around me but yeah you gotta uh, the diwali is here so yeah i think uh, i'm gonna go into opacity and i'm gonna decrease down to 50 percent so it looks better you can always toggle how much the opacity you want to have and i'm just gonna keep it on the background not on the image and this is how it looks like so i hope uh, this design will get you eventually to the better design version of yours uh, do upload it to your instagrams if you have created similar designs and uh, do share them with me on instagram by tagging them on my instagram id so i hope you will love this video i'm just going to add some basic minor things over here just like a little bit of text you can add the birth date or you can add some basic elements as well i'm just going to add all those things like i am right now i'm adding this quote right here but you can add basically anything related to the birthday so it may be your in your name that you are wishing him birthday or anything related to that i don't know i don't know right now but yeah i'm just going to lock this on place so right here okay so all the text right here like this and i'm add adding all those changes like color changes you can add uh, the different colors if you want to and if you can add the similar colors like the white and blue right here or red and blue and uh, this is how it looks like i'm gonna go add a hashtag over here so it looks kind of a trendy thing and the hashtag will be like this yeah best friend forever so this is what we're going to add 
and add, add a hashtag symbol in front of it so yeah this is what i've added right now and i'm gonna keep it right over here maybe tilt maybe increase the size tilt it right all the way like this like 180 degree tilt and uh, just keep it right over here so yeah you can do a lot of changes with the way you want and i'm gonna put some of the designs that i've got on the internet as well so you can check them out as well and definitely uh, create this design share this with me as i said earlier tag it on to my on instagram i will definitely like it if i like it i will share it to my instagram stories as well uh, related all the pngs are already available on to my telegram channel so be sure you download them from my telegram also follow me on instagram that i'm putting out so much content over there as well related relatively different from this channel right here and yeah as always i hope you will like this video video hit that like button button if you have like it this effect right here i hope you will be doing really great right now and i think i will catch you guys in my next video